You mean if because if it's longer than that and there's no like commentary over it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yep. That's cool, mm-hmm. Matt. It's real cool that you know that. What? It's not. I'm messing with you. As an audio producer, maybe you should know that. You're listening to Those Dram Ginzers with your hosts, John and Zach. Hey everyone, I'm John. I'm Tomas. And I'm John. And I'm Matt. And welcome to Those Dram Ginzers where we drink whiskey and talk about it. For everything Those Dram Yenzers, be sure to visit thosedramyenzers.com. You can find our social media links, our Patreon page, the order form for our hats, and the link to Zach's favorite site, dramit.threadless.com. If you're interested in sponsoring the show, want to do us an ad for your product, would like us to try your product on the show, send us a DM or an email. Well, it's midnight and I need to start drinking, so <laughs> let's go. There's too many Matt, people. you're allowed to talk now. Cool. Oh, yeah, Matt, you can talk again. You got my, you got my dial on? <laughs> What? Yeah, my yeah, my button never, is he never no. turned it off. He just thanks stared you down. Yeah. yeah, I just thought you know you could be human to normal for a second, and maybe just <laughs> listen to John. Impossible, also impossible. We're recording in front of at midnight phone. right now, and uh, the day actually well, it technically is Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. happy Easter, happy Easter. Uh, <laughs> Stop starting out happy. <laughs> well, Zach, you know, again, schedules and families and everything. Um, mm-hmm. I decided since we were coming up for the holiday to bring the equipment up and record with everyone, which has turned into a real fun time already. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even drank anything. When do we want to do this? Nine? Yeah. Nine, nine p.m.? At nine. Yeah. yeah. But you guys had to go to Hermitage to watch a movie. We were back at like 9.15. <laughs> Could have had it set up for us. Then you were like, I'm hungry. Anyway. Um, I, was before, little, I was a little hungry. Before we get really into it, uh, I do want to plug the upcoming uh, wine and bourbon walk that's actually here in Elwood uh, that we are doing all the promo for. Be on the lookout for some more. I got to do some more um, promotional posts uh, highlighting all the different whiskey or distilleries and wineries that are going to be here. But it's going to be on May 13th from noon to 4. Tickets are sold online. You can look in the show notes or on our link in our bio um, for the 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 Eventbrite link to buy the tickets. Tickets are twenty five dollars each uh, ahead of time. The day of at the event will be thirty dollars. It's partner. They're partnering with different stores around town. So if you've watched our video on our YouTube page of us doing the the whiskey walk in Washington last year it's kind of similar to that where a a distillery or winery is paired up with a shop in town and you go into the shops and you walk around everything but bottle sales will be available they're going to be able to you're gonna be able to like check your bottles so that you don't have to carry them around all of Elwood with you check in and purchase pickup will be at the the uh the the masonic lodge which is 512 crescent avenue which i believe is the old library still Mm -hmm. right yeah yeah, I'm super pumped about this. Uh, there's some really good um, wineries and distilleries. Let me see. What was the list? Uh, MLH, Derailed, Lucky Sign, 446, Country Hammer, mm. Grumpy Goat, and Lawrenceville Distilling oh, from the from the, the, the distilleries. Grumpy Goat is an interesting mm. name. Yeah. Derailed is cool. I'm excited about that one. They're actually in their shop. It's mostly moonshine, but their shop is... Um, in one of the train cars in Valant. So I thought it was cool. Oh, neat. Hence, derailed. Mm. Yeah. Derailed. Mm-hmm. And Dad sign- Dad's excited that Lucky Sign's coming because you yes. just killed your bottle of Aquavit. Aquavit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And got to get a new one. I believe it's pronounced Aquavit. Aquavit. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, if you guys want to. I believe it's have pronounced some, shut up. If you want to have some culture. <laughs> Tomas is taking it. So if this sounds horrid, it's Tomas's fault because he's taking a swing at running the sound tonight. I don't know how, what I'm doing, but here we are. <laughs> sounds great. I believe when we you. go to events now, you're going to be doing this. Yeah. So okay. I can sit and enjoy myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Tonight, uh, I figured with um, you know summer approaching, everyone's going to be hitting up Costco. 
Not that you can get it in PA, but if you just happen to be traveling out of the state, we're actually going to be trying the Kirkland branded Kirkland Signature Premium Small Batch Bourbon. Yes, that is correct. Kirkland, quote unquote, makes, or mm-hmm. I should say, bottles a mm-hmm. bourbon. <laughs> They mm-hmm. have a couple different offerings, but this is the one I found. Actually, not at, at a Costco, at a, a state store out in Delaware. But this particular one is Tennessee Straight Bourbon Whiskey, aged seven years. Distilled and bottled in the state of Tennessee, 103 proof. And te- it says bottled by Tennessee Distilling, which usually when places are sourcing whiskey out of Tennessee, typically it's coming out of the George Dickel. I... I have, wasn't able to confirm whether that's true or not for this mm. one, but typically when it's coming out of like something sourced like this, it's coming from from Dickel. But uh, okay, yeah. and you can't get it in PA for some reason. No, because the the PLCB has a chokehold on the state, and yeah. you can only buy liquor at their state stores. Yeah, um, so Ooh. you can't actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's some Costco's that literally just sell like not only their branded stuff, but just like regular whiskey like regular mm-hmm. like other bottles like i see on and some of these bourbon groups that are like more national people just go into costco that's where they go mm-hmm. and get their whiskey i'm just like <laughs> i need to get my whiskey and i need to get my toilet paper 50 rolls of toilet paper <laughs> and my cereal that will last me until the end of time I'll just pour you a little bit there thank sir. you there you go <laughs> although i did give you permission that if you did enjoy it you can have some of your ginger ale with it <laughs> That's like. Aren't you all glad we're? Aren't you glad we're all home, Dad? Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I am glad, very glad. Minus Chris, because you know, he'd rather go drink with other people than with us. He'd rather yeah. go He's pay to drink. <laughs> Full He's probably fool. at home. <laughs> so it's it's strange because people do say there's a difference when you have to like smell or taste whiskey by from Glen Cairns versus just like regular rock. Nice face, Tomas. Because like I'm not getting. I'm getting a little bit, a lot of the alcohol, but like, yeah. That's, that's do you think it's? Made that little do face. you think it's going to taste better coming out of that commemorative Disney Mickey Mouse glass? The lemon glass. The yes. lemon Mickey Mouse Matt, glass. That's yeah. why there's Mickey Mouse glasses. All right, I'm just asking. So that it tastes better, different, yeah. Or it tastes like mice, which is probably not what you not want. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> tastes like nostalgia. Let's go with that. Okay, sure. Cool. Are we on the sniff? I'm getting a lot of of. Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> well, you want to read the back of the bottle? I'm getting. I, I can smell it. I just don't know what I'm getting. I'll give you clues. So, you according go. to He's Kirkland, smelling whiskey. the Kirkland Signature Small Batch Bourbon has been aged seven years in charred American white oak barrels, which is legally what you have to do. So, good job. Uh, a complex aromas of caramel, molasses, citrus, and spice with mm-hmm. a faint smoky background and a long, rich finish. Mm-hmm. I will be the judge of that. Now, now. Batch age seven years. Mm-hmm. I don't really. Is this one of those cases where like, it's just like they slap a Kirkland label on it, but it's just a, another whiskey. That's exactly what this is. This is called yeah. sourcing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get this whiskey from. That's why you literally on the back, all they can say is bottled by. Yeah. Blank. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It mm-hmm. just the toilet uh, paper you get probably isn't made by Kirkland either. It's no, I understand. Given- How much is this whiskey? I, I don't I you don't honest, remember yeah, I don't remember oh, okay I mean it was I think it was forty mm-hmm. I but I'm say saying because I wouldn't have spent more than that yeah, on yeah. something like I did not know about yeah and and I mean even though I bought it for the show mm-hmm. like you know I'm not and this is a liter bottle too this yeah. is in the three seventy five or uh, seven fifty uh, so I want to say it was forty because I would have saw that and been like oh okay that's my cutoff you mm-hmm. know. Like I'll spend forty to try something. Yeah, because I was like, "Wait, does the price go up as soon as that has like a uh, quote unquote real label on it, <laughs> like a real whiskey label on it?" I'm not getting like a lot of typical bourbon. I don't I'm getting get a, lot, a, I don't I'm, get a lot of smoke, like I said, I'm supposed to have. No, I'm getting s- smoke at all. No. the The back of that sounds very like boilerplate. Mm-hmm. No, 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 not even exaggerate. Just boilerplate bourbon. It's got caramel, citrus. Sm- quote unquote smoky, you know, but nothing stands I, out in particular. Nothing, it's things. not like pecan right. chips, you know, right. there's nothing right. weird in there. So I'm smelling like a little sweetie citrusy. I that's smell it. Smell roasted almonds. That's what we do here. We Who smell things. I mean, I'm getting like baking spices. Mm-hmm. Oh, so sure. I can't, I can't really keep smelling. 
because you, you burnt your nose up by you sticking it all the way down take, the bottle. I was taking you got to do the you got to do the Gerard Depardieu where you just <laughs> stuff it in there. <clears throat> My goodness. You're on the computer. Google Gerard Depardieu actor. No. All right, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> See, that's why I keep doing. That 103 is really like. I don't like. I it. took a little sip and I didn't get any anything in particular after. Are we sipping? We're you know? sipping. Okay. It's not my show. Matt doesn't like it. That's a weird face. Yeah. <laughs> it. What was a little spicy. <laughs> Matt's still yeah. having trouble putting it down. I don't know about finish, <laughs> but it likes to hang out a little bit. Yeah. 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 I'm getting like the creamy, like sweet notes, like caramel, like the typical ones. I am mm. getting that in the middle. It's pretty, pretty spicy up I front, taste- which I'm assuming that's probably the proof. I taste a little citrus. Like this tastes a little hot than one of three. And oh, but once got... it really goes down, oh, the heartburn. <laughs> what? Why well, take a little sip? I did take a little sip. <laughs> I took a even a little. Now little you're sip. telling me were the other ones like lower proof then or what? No, that was this was the only one. They this had this was the only one. Okay. You said it's 103. Yeah, I'm three. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes a little hotter any, than 103. I don't it think feels, I've had anything that high since college. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, you have. Really? I don't know if the long, rich finish is there, sure. but it's definitely like it definitely lingers. Lasting. Mm-hmm. Um, so, again, you know, not sure what it. Although maybe, whiskey advocate gave it 91 points, so my that's whole, a my out, whole, is that out of 100? Yeah. Oh, my whole throat is just out of 700. It's yeah. T- it it's a, it feels. Real rough and ready, I'll say. See, I kind of wish Chris was here for this one, because one good He'd sip of this one, <laughs> he would have been on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've, I've taken a sip. I might take he, one more little taste sip and then dump a little bit of ginger ale. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm calling I've it been early. At, this is a I've mixer. been wanting to ask when I can add ginger ale to it. <laughs> there you go. See? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't like usually talking bad on yeah. your thing, because... No, we we trash talk but, shit all the time. <laughs> yeah. But this is this is rough. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not gonna go searching for this again. Let's put it that way. This is gonna sit on the shelf. So where would you put this? You top know what this shelf, is? Bottom shelf, middle shelf, bottom. Yeah. You know what it is? This is like oh, definitely bottom. What? But it's well, a good. If so, you're weird. Not all the way down. But okay. Because I've had ten dollar whiskeys. That's, that's yeah, all that's the way. Down. Yeah. That the old crow or whatever, right? No, old crow was good. It was oh, this okay. stuff went straight to my. Four queens. <clears throat> mm. So, so Talk. you know what this is? It's not for you because you're obviously a podcast weirdo who has a I million whiskeys. No. no, what I'm saying is if you buy this and you're like, I don't like this. You know what this is? It's a sick whiskey. You drink it. You put it in your tea when you're sick. See, I was going <clears> to say. Yeah, this will rough up your sinuses real good. See, I am, uh, I'm even running out of old granddad. Yeah, there you go. This is good for a toothache. I was going to say... Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, this is like, if you really do not really want to drink I mean, it, you could give this out to people and mix it with, like, uh, Coke or ginger ale. If somebody just wants, like, a mixed drink mm-hmm. at your house, you can just give this out in that. No, I mean, it's not like, oh, like I'm better. not, like, wanting to, like, throw up. Like, no. It's good, but it's not, like, anything to write home about. It's just can not I tell really you? worth... Uh, it's just not really worth sitting there and it's sitting exactly, on a whole glass. I, I didn't expect a lot, yeah. but it's exactly what I expected out of Kirkland signature sourced whiskey. Yeah, What's but funny, after it, it gave it so many names, like the small batch and all that, yeah, it yeah. makes you think, and it even puts the seven year age on top. It makes you want to. It makes you think that it's gonna be better than I mean, it it's is. Dark as hell too, but like, mm-hmm. yeah. What are you gonna say, Matt? It's not bad mix. No, uh, I was gonna say um, that. <clears throat> now that you told us what we were doing before we started. But this one could have been a funny, like, try and guess what whiskey this is. <laughs> oh, yeah. You pull out I still a, could. Pull I still out could a, yeah. do that to people. You still could. I um, mean, it's, it's not a bad, like, easy sipper. But, like, and it's better I, have other already. Easy, I have <clears throat> other easy sippers at my house that yeah. I will grab first. Did yeah, yeah. you say you forgot how much this one cost? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm looking it up. So, I, because I bought it at a state store, or at yeah. a, a, a store, just a liquor store, not costco so my problem is when whenever you like whenever i drink usually with you these like uh turn this around for me again this bottle the you know premium small batch etc 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 um that usually there's like extra flavors in there that 
mm-hmm. even if it's a little bit rough and raw, this then is, you're getting the flavors. I don't, I don't know. This is sourced. This, one. this is created for the masses. Mm-hmm. Kirkland has a blended scotch, and I they guarantee a, you that will be the only blended scotch I will never try. Yeah, <laughs> after they trying have a scotch, this. they have a That's Kentucky. Wait, hey, wait, I think wait, they you have don't a rye. know. You they have not. a bunch of different ones. I just have never tried. Them. What if that one's great? What if the scotch? Uh, I can't imagine. Oh, they have a Canadian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the only one I'm not finding finding is this one. Mm. They have an yeah. Irish. They have a lot of liquor. I would okay, which brings me to a question I would had. Who do you yeah, who do you think the whiskey's this is for? Masses. But like, is it even more like he was like, Oh, you could put this in Coke or whatever. Do you think it's even more specifically for college I think, kids? <laughs> I think it's it's the taste is built for mass consumption, mass appeal. Pro, like mass buying. Yeah. The label wants to appeal to the bourbon community. Mm. And it got me interested because I was like, I'll attempt it. If I didn't have the podcast, I wasn't buying this. Sure. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. Right. I do it for you. Mm. It's not horrid. I it's it's a it's a throw it out though. I mean it, it's not like I don't don't waste your money. It is thirty five dollars. There you go. There you go. So I probably so yeah forty makes sense because they probably bought a couple cases. Yeah, I feel like because it's wholesale mm-hmm. and then they upcharged it to forty or something. Yeah, see, I don't I don't know if I'd spend thirty five dollars. on I this. wouldn't. I mean, even if it's a liter, but still, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you're going for other, if you're going for an, if you're going to go for a Tennessee yeah. seven year, just go find Dickel. Find Dickel or. You know, if you want another premium small batch, bump up five ten dollars for one that might actually be good. Hey Matt. Hey, <laughs> can you give me a paper towel? Yeah, did you spill? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely drinks hotter than one oh three. Is that the spices? One oh three is the proof. No, I know that. I mean the reason it's no, drinking hotter, hotter. Hotter is like as in alcohol as content. In the alcohol. So like but I've I mean, had other I mean it, it is that the spices giving it the extra Not really. kick, I should say. Not just spices hot, but I mean, the kick. probably. Yeah. But like, if it was a rye, I would be like, oh, that's yeah. you know, very. I was worried um, I put too much ginger ale in, so now I'm just trying to find balance, balance. it out. Yeah. Um, no, it's just the way it's made. I mean, 103 proof is 103 yeah. proof, but like for a seven year I expected that to be a lot more Smoother. on par with yeah. with 103 that, I also that's like I would I if I was gotten if I got that blind in the advent mm-hmm. calendar I'd have said 115 yeah well isn't like isn't most bourbons if they don't list an age isn't the standard like three or something no. like that I thought there was no so I think if it's oh God now you, now you're testing me and I haven't thought about this before. well I swear mm-hmm. the standard for like Mass produced whiskey is like three years. No, but they just don't advertise it because it's normal and it doesn't. No, matter. I mean, I see what you some mean. Some of these big, yeah. the big guys, yeah, they can pull. That's that what off. I mean. But like, you look at some of these, you know, local like yeah, craft yeah, yeah. distilleries. They're pumping out as Six, much as they can. When yeah, they can. but they're when better than right. mass produced stuff. Anyways. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I also like on the bottle it says distilled and bottled in the sovereigns. Well, distilled and bottled, kind of boring text, and then distilled and bottled. Cursive in the sovereign state of normal text Tennessee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is Tennessee? Is that what sovereign means? I don't know. Sovereign. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds looks good on a bottle. The sovereign. Now this ninety one points. This when the whiskey advocate. I don't know who that is. When they do tests like that, are those so blind whiskey tests? Whiskey magazine. No, I don't. I don't know how they do their mm, their ratings. Because that's a lot of points. Yeah, I'm not, I don't <clears throat> listen. Most of the time, I don't agree with whiskey advocates. Honestly, mm. when I read that up to, when I first saw the bottle, I yeah. thought that was the uh, the proof. Yeah, yeah, right. Me too. Right. Recently, yeah. It, that, honestly, I think it's more accurate to the proof than it is to no, the points. No, it's not it the deserves. proof. The proof is like one fifteen. Go proof the other way. high. No, my point was it's closer to the to the proof than it is in the points it deserves. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh! You had to let him finish. This is a nice wind up in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It took too long. Yeah. I told you it's it's there's no filter after midnight for me. It's just yeah. whatever jokes come to mind, they fall out. After midnight. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna finish this. Let's just let's just keep recording until we have to put the meat on at three AM. 
Oh, gosh. <laughs> I gotta go to bed soon. Yeah, so the rest of us, because, you know, mm-hmm. Dad and I are getting up to do the this brisket and lamb that you wanted well, to do. Yeah, yeah. I would have, but I want to get a good night's sleep tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah, so you start your new job all mm-hmm. refreshed. Oh, speaking of uh, Westminster, because you got a job. You're no longer working for Dad. You got a job at Westminster. Nice. Uh, no, I just blanked. I was like, I'm going to, mm-hmm. what kind of vacation do you get? Because I need you to call off a couple of events on Saturday. Oh, my hey. God. <laughs> What kind of PTO just, are they giving you? I'm hoping they have whatever we're doing on Saturdays over the summer mapped out soon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that I can see what dates I'm going to be working. Otherwise, Matt's getting a promotion. Yeah. Uh, one that I didn't ask for. <laughs> um, Failing upwards. No, That's okay. So You're not getting any money either. Pitt, <laughs> now, hang on. Pitt, uh, the, the waiting period and everything, Pitt finally reopened their Theta Chi charter mm. this week. I used to have a chapter Yeehaw. way back when. Sure. Shut down. Presumably from drugs. For re- <laughs> for, the, for the lambda, reasons. Lambda, lambda. But <laughs> if we're being honest, I think out of the many pla- many things that fraternities get shut down for, I think drugs. This is was probably, also in the seventies. Yeah. So so drugs was the more tame way of yes. getting a fraternity shut yeah. down. <laughs> it's not that they had drugs; it's that they got caught with drugs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, there was a there was a kid there was a kid that pledged our fraternity, like our chapter at Westminster, um, and lit and like a week or two later had to drop because he told his dad and his his dad has been adamant about not joining fraternities because his dad went to pit in the seventies mm-hmm. and that's when they got hit with all this and then got shut down. So he was like, Absolutely, you're definitely not going to that that fraternity. We had a kid. even though a completely different school, completely different decade, multiple different decades. Like we had a kid. I think when I was a sophomore, he joined the fraternity, and he did not tell his dad for the first two years because he was worried he was going to make him drop it. Yep. <laughs> so I was like, "What do you tell him mm-hmm. whenever you talk about what you're doing at school?" He's like, "Oh, I just tell him I go down to the house for parties." That's it. <laughs> I said, "Okay." Did I did I tell you about my brief uh, fraternity experience? Very brief. You school. might have, but refresh my memory. So I cannot remember what school, what fraternity it was, but they were one that did not have a chapter at the school, like at all. Mm-hmm. But they were they came on anyway to the campus, and they were like, "Hey, they were like you know advertising. They're like, oh, we're gonna have all these benefits. Blah blah blah. blah. We're gonna get a house. Blah blah blah." And I was like, "Okay, I'm not really interested, but my one friend." Like, really was, so I just went with him for it. And apparently their, like, startup fees were so much higher than everybody else's because they didn't have an existing chapter already. (laughs) So they wanted you to pay dues, but also, like, startup costs for them to buy the house that they needed to be on campus. I was just like, oh, so this is, like, a bit of a scam. All right, see you guys. Well, honestly, like... (sighs) Mine is... Um, oh, now he brings out the good whiskey, I swear. <laughs> My, like, when I was in college, it was, mm-hmm. I think, 200 bucks a semester. Yeah. And we were... Uh, somebody went to some national thing or whatever, and they were talking to people from other chapters. There's a chapter in Alabama, mm-hmm. like a big state school. It is $1,500 a semester just to be in it. Mm-hmm. And then it's silly. more to pay rent if you live in the house. That's silly. That's so much money. I like I, I physically if I went to a bigger school I couldn't abandon fratern- yeah. fraternity. What's wrong with that one? You okay, pal? This is very, very I know you want some of this one. Is that oh, the, it's the Explorer? Pina so this is Explorer, which is a, a, a um from uh. PA. So it's a craft distillery in PA. But Dad, mm-hmm. you picked this up at Pennsylvania Elevations, but the Philly one the when Philly you were out there with mom. Yes. Yeah. yes. So oh their, that's kinda cool. This is their this wow. is their peanut butter. Whiskey. No, that's that's a lot of peanut. That's butter. nutty. It's not a. I'm not a it's peanut butter whiskey guy. Can as I much say? As I love peanut. Butter. Can I say one last thing about the Kirkland thing? Oh yes, go ahead. Sorry. If you like more. don't like or know a lot about whiskey, probably an okay whiskey for you because it feels like I don't drink beer really, but it feels like when you drink beer, you have like two or three of beers that you don't like, but then eventually you're you're just drinking beer. You don't really recognize 
the flavor or the beer that you're drinking anymore, right? It's mm-hmm. just another beer. Yeah. That's kind of what this tastes like if you mm-hmm. drink a whole bit. You know what I mean? You're literally <laughs> describing like Jim Beam, Jack Daniels. Okay, like, yeah, all right. Yeah. And you Which said you is this, $25. You said you got this in Delaware? Delaware. If you're a college kid in Delaware and you try to impress your friends because you can drink a lot, drink Kirkland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Because all you got to do is take one sip and not make a face, and no. I swear to God, the rest of your friends will make a face, <laughs> and, and then you'll be like, oh, I'm the tough dog. I can drink good whiskey. Here at Delaware College, it's the Kirkland Challenge. <laughs> but but to me, when you, when you see the Kirkland name on it, mm-hmm. it reminds me when I was in college and we used to buy generic beer. Yeah, oh, the cans you know? just said beer. On yeah, it. they just said beer on it. Yeah. What? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Out of something that just said beer on yeah. it. Yeah, it was, black, it was white can with black lettering. It said beer. That this was, this was before the FDA had this rules. Lived in Youngstown you know? and had no money. And, yeah. and guess what? Oh, it was Ohio. It was it, a wasteland anyway. And mm. guess it was three dollars a case. Yeah. <laughs> so bread was we a bought nickel. a lot of it. We <laughs> bought a, no, <laughs> no milk every, cost a hair a penny. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> say that. Dad was drinking right after Prohibition. <laughs> That's how old he is. Every other place was, My dad was is so still old. still eight or ten dollars a case, but this was three. He was drinking illegally in mm-hmm. speakeasies. <laughs> Honestly, no, no. He we saw were in Ohio, he, so it was legal. I, I, I saw Lawrence of Arabia in the theater. <laughs> Sorry, that know. wasn't that good. Man. I don't think that movie's that <laughs> old that either. Made, made I, like, like the seventies, the fifties, maybe. I don't know. All right, so give it your eighties. You pulled, Tomas, you pulled yeah. out the black Jameson Black Barrel. Yeah, which is the last thing we did. <laughs> yeah. So give me your thoughts, Mr. Peanut Butter Flavored Whiskey Expert over here on the Explorer versus <laughs> the end-all, be-all of Peanut Butter Whiskey Screwball. S- screwball's better. This this has <laughs> this has a lot of peanut butter flavor, but... I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I just say I just think screwballs better. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm drinking like the peanut shells that are on the floor of uh, <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> like this is way nuttier. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then just from the nose, screwball. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. It's it's. <gasps> <gasps> it's not that. Bad. I mean. Unpopular opinion. I mean, it's not I the worst. Don't think if peanut if butter whiskey tastes good, <laughs> I can if, drink this and not have to put ginger ale to it. Yeah, um, that's I don't know. Let me see the bottle. It's good. I don't even really like screwball that much. Well, you're not living in this house very much longer. This is mm. either this is either pretty good or I'm so I, bitter from the Kirkland mm-hmm. that any <laughs> new whiskey, I'm like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. See. <clears throat> Into roasted, see the, the the roasted peanuts is. I mean, I get oh yeah, but like, yeah, it's from Allentown Kilimanjaro Distillery. Allentown. Kilimanjaro's not Allentown. Contains in Allentown. Peanuts. <laughs> not much comes out of. So Allentown, maybe they actually but do. They got peanut butter whiskey. Well, it says whiskey with natural flavoring caramels, but like, mm. I'll be curious if we ever meet them to ask them about how they do this one. I'm a sweetie, so I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. It's not. I mean, it's not you the worst. I've had some worse ones. What? Did you just yeah. call yourself a? Sweetie? I mean, it's hard to it's compare. No, it's uh, yeah, hard to I'm compare a yourself to anything in screwball because nah. they just did it. So I am. Well. Yeah. What's the other? I like one? the flavored whiskeys. The ones that I have. Yeah. I have PB and W. I have the the squirrel. I have the squirrel. The ugly the, dog. Yeah, squirrel. We th- we've had before. How dare you talk about Herc that way? That's just rude, Tomas. Yeah. I they, like this. Funny story about the peanuts. ugly dog. Uh, Amy got that bottle from. Remember. Yeah. And I put it in the back of the car, mm-hmm. uh, and I don't know if I laid it down or it fell over, but the cork popped out, Ooh. and it spilled all in the back. Now, we have, in the back of our car, we have, like, the, the mats, mm-hmm. so it was contained. It didn't, like, seep into, like, anything, so it was contained to that, but that car smelled like peanut butter whiskey for, like, a month, because <laughs> I couldn't get the smell out. Yikes. Anytime you get pulled over, the cops just like, "Ah, uh, step out of the car, yeah. uh, sir." <laughs> yeah, have you been how about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? How about you guys remember the time we got pulled over mm-hmm. coming yep. to Lisa's house? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and in Chris the, was what in the Malibu? And Chris was what eleven years old, going, no. "Oh, I should have had my weed." Yeah, Chris tried getting me in trouble. <laughs> I, I saying I that did post a, 9/11. I did a rolling stop at the five points, leaving Lisa's at like one oh. in the morning with the four, with the three of them, and who was it? One, I forget. It was one of the ones I used to know. Mm-hmm. Uh, pulled me yeah, over at the so old video funny. world, mm. and because we were in the Malibu, that's when you guys still had the. And uh, 
Yeah, we're we're getting there. And Christopher, who has watched way too much Gabriel Iglesias, was attempting mm. to make what should I do with the weed jokes? Yeah, yeah. We all went. As soon through. as he saw it was the four of us, he's like, "Get out of here." We all went. <laughs> we all had the fluffy phase. Yeah, let's be honest. We did that the one time too when you guys were younger, mm-hmm. and uh, I think you were in a car, John, because and because uh, we were getting the gifts over at Nunny's for the rest oh, of them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and and I did another rolling stop over yep. by the school, and they waited till I come up our street to pull us over. And it was McMar- McBride. Yeah. And and he come over, and the other guy went on the other side because he didn't know who it was at first. And then when, when McBride saw me, he says, oh, he's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo. Been pulled over four times and never got a ticket. Yeah. Th- you, you can thank me. I can thank you for the one. No, put it in double it. Um, Keep it in double it. All right. So because I can't finish on Bean and Butter and Kirkland, nah, I no. pulled out the... Uh, one of your liberty poles. This the, li- is the, the liberty uh, pole. In the, in the top? Oh, the top? Oh, yeah, that's mine. Yeah, yeah, the straight, uh, one of the, the single barrels that, when they did the, the three, the yeah. the, if you rye, don't even know, the peated rye and the peated bourbon. Or, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I asked for the peated rye. Mm-hmm. Oh, they gave you the single but barrel. But they gave me the single. I don't care because yeah. I like all of them. They're but they gave me the, <laughs> yeah. If you don't even know what's in your cabinet, I'm oh, this stealing is a bottle. one. Excuse me? Yes. I don't know about the pineapple one. The pineapple one. All right, well, give me that. Yeah, the, their, also, their notes, there, 110 proof, tarragon, pine, and pineapple. <clears throat> yeah, but you see, there's 110 proof, but it this doesn't. This is probably going to taste a lot better. taste 110. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah? Does it already smell much better? Mm-hmm. You're not coughing, so that's, a, that's an improvement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, let me yes. smell. Let me smell. Yes. I don't see yeah. pineapple upside down. I don't see it. All damn hmm? Okay, good. see, that's how it should smell. <laughs> that is 100% really? how it should smell. Literally, I, Kevin, you need to start paying me because well, we literally talk about you guys every freaking episode. I could do like a full like 10 <laughs> second sniff and I would never start coughing with oh that my one. God. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> do you want another glass? It's just crazy. Well, I'll, I'll wash out this one. Yeah, it's just this. crazy. You'll, that you'll, you'll, you'll love that note. I do truly like bit. basically everything they make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. Very, it's cold hard fact. Give me a little bit. Give a little bit. Very little. What? You see, rinse even this black so barrel. I just rinsed it out. Oh, you did. Never mind. Yeah. He did it. Yeah. Even the black barrel doesn't hurt the sniff. When you think you should stop, stop sooner. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I had this then, but I got whatever. Oh, yeah, one don't I drink too much of that because John did just open my bottle, which well, whatever. No, it wasn't. Was already open. It was already open. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. Oh, I did take a sip of it. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. Wait, where did that that come from then? That wax. It, it didn't pull off enough, so I pulled off more. You didn't pull the wax off, folks. Amateur. Plastic's not wax. Where's your Peaky Blinders whiskey at? It's up there. there. I almost grabbed it. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I like that one. That was in your because I remember that one because it was in your. That one's fun. Not your, but it was in the uh, one mm. of the holiday episodes we did. Yes. Yeah. The, the I like that calendar one. A lot. one. Um, Even though it's like gimmicky, right? It is, but it's good. I know. It's like thirty dollars, if that. I think that's crazy. It did anyway. not cut it with with shipping. I think I spent thirty. I'm not getting any pineapple upside oh, down cake. Okay. Pineapple. <laughs> did you sniff nose. it? Yeah. Oh wait. Well, wait. Let's. You know. Can you smell it? Yes, I can okay. smell it. All right. Leave me alone. <laughs> you don't smell smell it anymore. Yeah. Well, I did for the longest time. No, but there are some things I still can't smell. But COVID. light, fruity, fantastic. You're really on a journey here, right now. See, Dad, what you got to think of is if you took a pineapple right side up and sniffed it, you got to turn it upside down and then sniff it again. Yeah. And then it'll smell. Like and you that. get that. You get that classic reverse smell. <laughs> The pineapple upside down. If I blow into it, what makes it an upside down smell, right? cake? I've never understood. You that. have to make you it build in, it like it's like you, a bun. You build it in a bun can- pan, mm-hmm. and you you put the pineapples in first, and everything else on top. Sure, that way. Sure, you can turn it but upside down. John is, isn't any bun cake an upside down cake? No. To be no. clear, to be clear, okay. John is mostly correct. You also have to make it in the upside down from Stranger Things. Jesus Christ! I don't get that joke. I'll be here all Shut weekend. Up. <laughs> Dad told you to shut up. No, I got. I know I got it the first time. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we do this. Just, just, Kevin, just pay me. 
Honestly. I don't know if that's You don't got to pay me. You can just give me free bottles if you really want to. That counts. Still don't taste upside do you, down. Do you cake, like it? <laughs> it's better than that. Well, yeah. okay. That's not. Oh, okay. See, once I make, once I make okay money. It doesn't like burn my chest going down. And that's sure. 110. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That was 103. Wow. Yeah. See, once I make okay this money. This only aged for two years. And that was. I'm telling you. Once I make a good generic, amount of money, I want to go to their store beer. and buy a bottle of whatever they're selling. They dropped another everything. single barrel recently. And I was like, I literally don't. My paychecks. Come on, guys. You're killing me. But they did say that with the new move and having the amount of barrels they're going to be having, they would like to have at least one single barrel of, of all their different products. Like, not mm-hmm. all at once, but like maybe like a rotate uh, single barrel. Like always having like yeah. another one ready to go as soon as the other one's like thin. You know. Yeah, that stuff's good. Mm-hmm. I haven't tried it yet. Hang on. Okay, so for me, throw it out oh, on man. the Kirkland uh, Dantan on the Explorer peanut butter. And obviously, even though you can't get this anymore because that's sold out because it was over the summer, <laughs> Haas on, on the LP yeah, single barrel. Kirkland is throw it out and ridiculous. I didn't taste the peanut butter. But I say throw it out because I don't like peanut butter whiskey. Um, That's all right. I'm Just drinking leave the, it here. When I'm you drinking the Black Barrel again, which I still, again, say is a has. And then, yeah, the the um, the rye from Liberty Pole is a, is a has. That's one. Obviously, because I bought it from my house because it was that a great a purchase. You bought it for your that parents' house. That, oh. All right, Matt. You got to go there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. John yeah. went there last time, and I edited so it out. So it's a little think, better than, and than other ryes I've had. Do you think this crosstalk plays well on audio? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> now no. that I think of it, he keeps trying to do it to me. Whatever. I'm. Dr- I'm not even gonna. Mm-hmm. You guys part about the dad. So. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. I don't know. What you don't remember ratings. No. Go ahead, dad. Oh, oh, Keep talking. That rye is is better than any other rye I've had before. Oh, okay. Li- Liberty Pole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I. I've probably had it th- at their place before. You probably had their Maybe. standard one. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Who yeah. were we with? The one. What was his name? He went like, to the last uh, festival with us. Not the last festival. Josh. Went to, yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> would not stop telling them that the peated rye was his favorite whiskey of all time. Yeah. That is a good one, though. It is very good. Though. I mean, it's awesome. Now, wait. Remind me. When they say, like, tarragon, pine, and pineapple, are these just notes that they're pulling? Mm-hmm. It's not, like, stuff they're adding. No, no, no. This is just a uh, collective between, like, the, the crew. Yeah. Of the notes that they're getting out. Of okay, right okay. Now. Yeah. Job I want, right? <laughs> Wh- whiskey sniffer. They told bring, him they bring me a glass, and I just no. I well, told him I said you taste. you you, you, pop you give me the right number. I'll quit my job right now. You pop a barrel. <laughs> See, but I don't want to be the one that like takes a tiny sip. I want to take like a whole chug just to get everything <laughs> in there, and then by like noon, be like, um, it tastes pretty pretty good. <laughs> Matt, your thoughts. On this one? All on all, all three. Oh, on all three? I don't know if you saw me earlier. I did kind of have to spit out the rest of the Kirkland stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, after two sips, after a sip and a half, I had to mix it up. I was, like, I was like, let me finish my glass that already has ginger ale and the Kirkland in it so that I can pour some of the peanut butter one. And then instantly was like, mistake, mistake. <laughs> um and this wasn't one of the ones. This was like a genuine. Like I'm curious about this. I've bought. I have bottles yeah. on my shelf that I'm like, this is going to be bad. Yeah, and that's going to be hilarious. Show. Okay, mm-hmm. but the thing is, I've had whiskey cheaper than this, and I still think that's better than this stuff. Um, In fact, if you want to leave it here, and I'll use it to uh, kill the weeds outside. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kirkland. screw you, Kirkland who whiskey. Was, who was talking about not trash talking earlier? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, and then the peanut butter one. It's an, I kind of like it. It's maybe a little, it's pretty sweet, mm-hmm. but the unfortunate thing is that you're going to compare it to Screwball, and I just like, yeah. come on, Screwball's yeah. way better. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this, what is this again? This their sing, one of their single barrel Single barrel rye. Single barrel rye. Uh, summer, I It's think? great. Love it. Or no. <clears throat> was that around, that was around Thanksgiving. Thanks, that was around Thanksgiving. Mm. Yeah, when we lost Connor's tablet. Uh, because I, I had mm-hmm. a, like a hundred and fifty dollar bill that day. Yeah, yeah, because because <laughs> he kept I put everybody's drinks on my tab and he everybody fed us kept, that one. Everybody yeah. kept getting he fed us that books. one. He that nice. was the one that he just kept giving us glasses. Is that when we and went that, down? And I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm buying it. Yeah. 
Because I figure, if he's going to keep giving me free tries of whiskey, I might as well buy a bottle while I'm there to give him back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give him back a few bucks. That's how it works. <clears throat> they made a good uh, old fashioned. Oh beer my there. god! That's what oh, I'm yeah, saying, man. Went. It was delicious. Yeah. What week. did they? What did they put it in again? I can't remember. What did they? Ju- I think it was just their whatever their they standard. Had, whatever they had yeah. there that night. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they have a standard old fashioned that's there. All they have like drinks that are always there, mm-hmm. and then they have rotating monthly ones. Mm-hmm. So I still have a little bit of the 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 tinker mm. from last year. It's not called Tinker Tom anymore. No, you're right. It's, it's the spice. spice the spice, yeah. yeah. I'm an old head. I don't think Good. I ever bought that one myself. Good. Oh. Because I, I'm slowly going to for- like twist their arm into calling it Mama Huff's winter whiskey. I, I don't know that you can do that. I, I'll twist their arm enough. She's blocking it. I'll, I'll get her. I'll keep sweet talking her. I'll get her to go for it. <clears throat> Everybody else likes the, likes the name. She's just too modest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she doesn't deserve the credit. Okay. Well, your mother's calling me because I didn't take my medicine yet, so oh, Jesus I'm going to call it now. Okay, All right. Good night, Dad. And I'll be up in two hours. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good night, Dad. Good night. Kept them up late. Can I try a little bit of your, yeah. the black label uh, just take eventually? The okay. Don't, like, take the bottle. Just here. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you better not take the bottle. That cost me 45 bones. They, you paid for it in bones? <laughs> yeah. The bones are their money? Actually, I forgot, the guy. I, I forgot it was that expensive. I only had like a hundred bucks in my bank account. <laughs> it doesn't even smell like anything. That's crazy. <clears throat> Did you try it or did you just smell it? Oh, I have to finish this oh, first. Right, okay. It's on deck. <sighs> well, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. Hey, anytime I can get dad on the show and actually get him to try stuff, we're, we are slowly wearing, like, wearing him down. To, to trying like, whiskey? He is absolutely in love with old fashions. Good. Oh, that's I told you this the other day, or yes, yesterday. But um, Lisa and I went out to dinner with some friends on Thursday mm-hmm. before we went and saw Steel Magnolias at the O'Reilly. Okay. So we went to a dinner before, and um, their their on their drink list they had a house old fashioned, which I'm always curious. And they labeled it. They didn't just say that and that was it. Like it labeled mm-hmm. which bourbon they used and everything like that. Sure. So it was Makers 46, which I do enjoy. Huh? But they also had, not only Makers, Lafroy 10. So it was <gasps> a bourbon and a scotch together in an old fashioned. I've always, wanted to, I've always wanted to try my own scotch old fashions because I don't want to order that and then hate it. Mm. Yeah. I want to try it at home first. But because if you do that, you'd have to you'd have to name the bottle because they'll just grab like the the well scotch. I think, probably not yeah, you can't do the well scotch. I think I ha- I think I got something with a Lafroy in it yeah. when I went to Bridges and Bourbon downtown. Yeah, it was uh, which you have to go. By it the was way. pretty. I know it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, it had the the sweetness of the typical bourbon old fashioned. Yeah, they had you know the orange peel and everything mm. um wonderful and uh so the the, or- the citrus was great and it finished with a nice like just like a peaty smoky like end nice um everyone uh, one friend brought up the the kombucha girl meme oh yeah because yeah, yeah. that's the, how my face was oop, oop, <laughs> oop. wait a minute yeah um, although if you remember the full meme the full clip of her is her going like is like sipping and then going, uh, and then well, and then she eventually goes, nah. <laughs> Honestly, I um, <clears throat> I went to an Italian restaurant a couple of weeks ago with a bunch of my friends mm-hmm. and Sharon, and uh, I got a blackberry old fashioned. Ooh, fun. You think? Uh oh. Oh, it literally was just an old fashioned. And it literally looked like they took a blackberry in their palm and just crushed it and so threw they muddled, it. In. They muddled a blackberry at the bottom. Yeah, but it was yeah, mm-hmm. it was. But it was, I don't know. It was just a bunch of pieces of blackberry sitting at the bottom. <laughs> Herc is dying to get on that couch. Well, he can't now. But but it, no. But he knows. He knows better that you know he's only allowed on the couch when there's a blanket. Now again, we're not at home. We're home mm-hmm. Oh, see, today I was just he was just vibing oh. on there. Oh, blanket. same. <laughs> Me and him were but napping all day. He, see, he knows, and now he's like, uh, "He's retreating." Fuck it, I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't know. I think I spoil him when it comes to that. 
Oh, why do you think he loves coming here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I spoil the heck out of him while he's here. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, considering you gave him a bag of treats in like two days. Oh, oh my God. Well, he was begging for it. Was, was I supposed to do? It was supposed to last a week. What was I supposed to do? Say How? no? Oh, my gosh. No, because you put a couple pieces in with his food. Yeah, but I thought he would love me more if I gave him a treat every time I took him outside. Yeah. And he's smart <laughs> enough to know if I go outside these doors, it doesn't matter if I pee or poop or do nothing. Yeah. He's going to feed me treats when you're I, right. I wish I wish I got a treat every time I pissed in the right place. <laughs> you I mean you're right, but I love him, so it's okay. Sorry, family show. Every time I whizzed in the right place. <laughs> I said fucker. No, nah, I put the nice. explicit thing on every time. Every time? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. How uh, many? Somebody oh, somebody slips up and says fucker shit every single time. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Or just... Tired of this. Like, we don't... Fucking shit. Like, even the shows that we don't swear, I still kind of just throw it on there. Just also, you're talking about whiskey. That, yes. Now, yeah. not all the whiskey... Like, some of the other ones that are more, like, family-friendly... Sure. Sure. Uh, don't have it on there. But I just think because it's the, the topic, you know... Matt gave up. Matt gave in. Matt gave in. Put the. Go ahead, buddy. He's so cozy on that couch, too. Mm-hmm. This is my bed, though. I'm going to have to ask you to get up later. <laughs> Put a blanket on that chair. He'll sleep there. No, I might just crash there if I'm only going to be sleeping for a couple hours because I don't want to get up at three and wake Connor up accidentally. That's true. All I right. mean, I'll be up till three, but not on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. This has been mm-hmm. fun. Mm hmm. You know, a hell of a time editing this. This has to come out on Wednesday, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, he does this to me every time. How, are you going to work on it tomorrow on the Lord's Day? I'll probably Monday. listen to it tomorrow night Monday, after you all leave. Monday, Tuesday. Oh, okay. Probably listen to it tomorrow night after you guys leave, and then I'll edit it Monday and Tuesday. Because mm-hmm. mm. I know I'm going to be tired, so yeah. tired on Monday night. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, this was fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, again, make sure you check out um, the link in our Instagram bio for tickets, the ticket site for the bourbon walk that we're promoting in Elwood in May. Mm. Um, yeah, go buy some stuff. Uh, buy uh, some stuff. <laughs> Two and this is expensive. Anyway, um, thank you both for, for sitting down uh, at really, really late um, mm-hmm. with me so we can keep up. Tomas is going to. Shows. Tomas is going to be and horizontal Tomas in two minutes. To, as soon as we yeah, say. I mean, he woke me up to do this. It's, so. it's, <laughs> As soon as, as soon as as soon as we say cheers to you, he's gonna put his head down. His face is gonna hit the laptop. H H H H H H H H. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Uh, T Matt, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. And cheers. Cheers to you.